Wonder Man Army Promotions Incorporated was created in 2004 and is the brainchild of its founder and CEO, Dennis K. Burgess. The company's strong ties to community and Mr. Burgess's desire to uplift the residents, neighborhoods, and schools on Long Island has garnered him the respect from local business leaders, churches, community organizations, and local officials. The company provides experiential marketing by allowing users to engage and interact with brands, products, and services in a hands-on way, creating a bonding that can become an impression, leading to greater awareness, more information, and higher sales for their clients. He has been able to accomplish what many have said couldn't be done and is seen as a liaison for the African American and Hispanic youth in dealing with community affairs and local businesses throughout Long Island. By combining his talents in the field of direct marketing and his love of community as a community activist, he has created a company unlike no other. A company that can introduce brands and services to a receptive audience in a controlled manner so that the end users can experience and learn about these brands in a much more receptive way. Bishop J. Raymond Mackey, <clears throat> the first, I am the executive director of the organization uh, HEBN, Heaven, which stands for Helping in Violence Now. It's a coalition that's made up of um, different components of the community to address um, the ills in our community. And our focus has been started out on uh, gang and youth uh, criminal activities. It is through the um, Heaven Hempstead cluster that meets weekly that we were introduced to Dennis Burgess, who is the uh, person that runs um, One Man Army Marketing and Promotion. It was a tremendous blessing coming in contact with a young man that had a strong uh, heart towards his community and seeing it improve, and especially reaching out to our, to our youth. You know, I've known Dennis for a long time. I mean, I, I watched Dennis grow up. I grew up with his older brother, so I, I mean, I've known him for over 25 years, but uh, in reference to business, um, you know, me and Dennis, we've been together for about, I say about seven or eight years. And uh, I gotta tell you, I mean, this guy really, uh, I, I, I respect his ambition. I respect his uh, ability to move ahead with or without you. He is such a phenomenal young man in our community. He has uh, made a catalyst in bringing young people together for political and um, community-based uh, events. He was doing everything, because to do an event, you become a promoter, you become a fundraiser, you become a graphic artist, you become everything. So I guess he turned around and realized he was doing everything and turned out One Man Army. And that's how he came up with that name, One Man Army, which was a unique piece because his whole camouflage green background was gave that whole piece of that army military militant type move which was his mentality how he thinks like strategically making moves in and out in this industry we sat down and we discussed what what the plan was for Hempstead Day and how could he best assist and and be a major part of it and he stated that he had contacts with record labels and and artists that that most people couldn't even get in contact with and right here on this stage, right here on this stage that I'm sitting on, he brought not one, not two, but an array, a, 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 a multitude of performers and brought to this town of Hempstead artists that people would have to have gone and paid to see. I said, listen, Fish, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get involved with the community more. I want to be more involved and I want to figure out ways I can better enhance the community. And he said, yo, I'm thinking about doing a, 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 a non-for-profit organization. So I said, hey, yo, that's cool. So he said, you know, I got a couple of names and, you know, he threw them past me and then we, we, we figured it out and he came up with I Am We Foundation. Once the organization was created, we began putting our organizations together to bring in more investors, to bring people, to bring awareness to the community more, to get people more involved in what we really want to do to help others. You know, sometimes people get involved with things and they don't really have it, they're not really genuine about it. And I can't say who is and who isn't, but 
But I can say that, um, you know, that Dennis from One Man Army Marketing Promotion, it was genuine with what he wanted to do in the community. And uh, when he reached out to me, I was totally in acceptance to it. And we've been doing things ever since. As a matter of fact, this year, November, I believe, 17th, it's a Thursday, um, if I'm right, um, in Hempstead, Long Island on South Franklin Street, we're going to be doing um, what we call food drive. However, it's really not a drive. It's more like we're going to be feeding the community. So those that are out there that are less fortunate, we're going to be out on the street with the IMWE and the Iron Gate Cares Foundation, and we're going to feed the community that we grew up in. Does things like, you know, Ride for Democracy. When Obama was getting into office, um, we had the people from the community come out and help them register to vote, you know, which is a major thing because I'm real heavy in my community. And, I, you know, that's one thing I really like about d word is he's concerned about, you know, where he's from, you know, he put on for a city. He had an event planned for, I believe it was September 3rd, September 13th, yes. and uh, we were talking about it, and we thought that we might do a collaborative effort to bring uh, book bags, do a, a food, um, a barbecue. And motorcycle, remember, you know, the motorcycle. The I and Lions also collabor collaborated with us to do a Writing for Change event for Obama. And the youth. Oh my goodness, the talent that uh, Dennis brought out. I mean, he had some young people who had such great talent to perform. And um, it was amazing, right, Teresa? It was really amazing. amazing. The mayor came out, all of the trustees, yeah. a lot of the community. It turned out to be a very well attended event. And it was very well received by the community. The biggest obstacle we have is the municipality itself. The municipality has two different game, game cards when it comes down to doing events. I was doing events in Hempstead since the early 80s. And just to show you one of the obstacles, we've never been able had to do a, a permission slip plus insurance just to do a block party. Usually on a block party, if everybody on the block agreed, it was a no problem. But this administration, we found out that we need insurance and we need over a million dollars insurance to do a block party. That's one of the major obstacles that came in our way. But again, Dennis was able to get around that, and that was a real slick piece, and I thank him for that. The outreach on Terrace Avenue in Hempstead, which was a very successful piece. Um, also in, uh, at Jackson um, Youth Center in Hempstead, there was a, uh, a drive, a Thanksgiving dinner, at one point that was done, and families from the community came and gathered, and um, we've also had a, a basketball tournament that uh, we were a part of, and I, I really do commend him for the things that he has done and that he's yet doing in our community, and um, to see his determination despite um, not fully getting the support that he needs from several components of the community, but yet is determined to see the vision. He got me sponsors for the kids. He works with the kids beautifully. He helped me. He had Percy on a couple of events. Matter of fact, he gave him a, an event that was a clothes drive event. He used to start a basketball team, bring on the local kids from the community, take them to play basketball. The first time a lot of kids really left Hempstead or left Long Island. He brings people out, you know, and that's one thing. You're looking for, you know, something done as far as helping your project out. You know, he's there. He's also came, hosted my Long Island Boss Ladies um, mixtape release. So we've been rocking for a minute. So from there, we devised a plan to uh, put together our own open mic. And that's how we gave birth to the uh, first official Strong Island Open Mic Lounge Series. And went out on a limb and just went on a promotional blitz. You know, much to our surprise, but you know, fortunately, man, the first night was a smash. We packed the joint out. I said, I, you know, I, I use One Man Army marketing promotion for numerous reasons, and there's one thing in particular that has always caught my eye with uh, with the company is is the way that they can graphically take your idea to the next level. Um, there's been moments where I've given Dennis um, an artist and say a couple words and. He took it and just twisted it and made it what it 
way beyond my expectation. With a proven track record in the areas of marketing and community organization, One Man Army Promotions has shown that it excels in these fields. When you need to promote, market, plan, organize, create, and help the community, there is one company with the expertise to help, One Man Army.